What was my father thinking? Take over the family business? What did he expect me to do? Perform magic tricks for no money for the rest of my life? Sweetie, I just can't believe that's what he really wanted from me. Maybe you just wanted to mix things up in your life. Have you ever put yourself out there in front of a group of strangers before? No. Well, I have. I did that day in and day out. That was my life up until I was four. You know, my father had this knack of getting people to flock to him. Something in the way his voice just boomed. It was warm and fighting. You know, I just don't have that in me. What changed that? Sixth grade. My father wasn't the most well-known performer around, but from where we came from, he had a bit of a name. You know, people heard of him in the shows that he would put on in the park. And we had this one act that required me to be a plant. I started noticing some kids from my school that showed up. But they didn't come to see the show. They just came to tease me about how my dad did not have a real job and how he was no different than some bum on the streets. It's awful. Yeah, well, it gets worse. First time they showed up, they didn't say a word. They just stared at me while I was performing a bit, whispering, laughing to each other. And I tried to play it off. But after a while, they would just show up just to interrupt the show. They became so familiar with my dad's routine that they would just yell out what was going to happen in the middle of the next act. There came a point in time where my dad couldn't even perform them. Oh, those kids are jerks. But they were right. My dad did the same tired old tricks all his life. I grew to hate it so much. The one thing my dad stood for in love, I became ashamed of. People need to live their own lives. I don't think that your dad wanted to take that away from you. I guess so.